Hey friends, welcome back. You know, today I want to talk a little bit about the grip. Now everybody's generally got a pretty good grip, but there are a few nuances I want to talk about. And there's actually a couple big mistakes I want to talk about as well. What I've done here, I've got this club and I drew the white line right down the center of the grip in line with the square club face. Now this is what basically you want to do. You want to put that end of that grip, the butt end, and always grip it at the butt end. Don't grip down here. Grip it up here, right under that heel pad. Then, right across the crook in your forefinger. Alrighty? Now, just bring your fingers around, boom. You're all set to go. You want to have this thumb on the right side of that white line. Don't have it on the top. A lot of golfers do that. Have it on the right side. Reason being, if you have it here, then that's a very weak grip and you'll tend to hit balls off to the right and you don't want that. Put it over to the right side. Now, not wrapped around like this, but I mean just to the right of the center. Go ahead and squeeze, get your little V formed, which points right up here at the corner of my smile. Now you take your other hand. I'm gonna use an overlap grip. Put it across, put it right in the crooks of your fingers, right in the crooks. And this is an important part. Take that thumb, put it right in the cup of your right hand. That gives you a very solid grip. Then grip it again, form that V. Put this thumb, put your right thumb on the left side of that grip, just on the left side, not on top, on the left side, not around, right on the top. There again, squeeze them, get the Vs pointing up to the right corner of your mouth and you're all set to go. As far as grip pressure, when you when you get that thumb cupped in there, you've got plenty of grip pressure with a light grip. Now I know Sam Sneed always used to say, well, you grip a golf club with about the same pressure you would use as if you were holding a baby bird in your hand. Well, I've never held a baby bird in my hands and nor do I have any intention of doing that in the near future. All I'm saying is get it comfortable so your wrists are nice and loose at the same time, you've got very good control over that golf club. There's a couple caveats. Well, there's one caveat I want to talk to you about. If you have a tendency to hit the ball off to the left on your approach shots and so forth, here's the culprit right here. It's your forefinger, right forefinger. And the reason it is, that's the strongest finger in your hand. It dictates what that hand does. It, it wants to tell all the other fingers, follow me, boys. You've got a lot of strength there. As a matter of fact, just to prove to yourself, try to flip a booger with your middle finger or your ring finger, and it doesn't go anywhere. Flip one with your forefinger, and that booger's gonna fly across the room and land in somebody's soup. It's very strong. What'll happen is this, is you've got your grip, you're hitting them to the left, it's because of this forefinger. Take it off the club. Go to the range and just hit a couple of shots without that finger even being on the club. It'll tell your mind that you don't need pressure here. At that point, you just basically loosely put that around. Bear in mind, you're holding, with your right hand, you're holding the club with these two fingers. You're holding the club with the left hand with these three fingers. But it's these two. Those are the ones you want to concentrate on when you've got your grip. You want to feel those two fingers gripping that club. That forefinger, just loosely put it on there. That's the same thing when you putt. If you're missing your short putts to the left, you're pulling all your short putts left, it's the same thing. It's this finger. I am guarantee you it's pulling that club around. Take that finger off the grip. As a matter of fact, when you're putting, you can just leave it off the grip if you want to. Maybe you can point down, oh, there's my line, you know, if you want to. But the point is, you don't need it. I hope that helps you. Maybe you picked up a tip or two. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you very much.